In this problem, we're told a 28 gram rifle bullet traveling 210 meters per second buries itself in a 3.6 kilogram pendulum hanging on a 2.8 meter long string, which makes the pendulum swing upward in an arc. Determine the vertical and horizontal components of the pendulum's maximum displacement. So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here first. So imagine this right here is going to be our pendulum, right? So here's our pendulum. It's hanging. And so we know it's going to be 2.8 meters long. So this distance is 2.8 meters. And then we also know we have a 28 gram rifle bullet. And it's going to be traveling towards this at 210 meters per second. And so we know it's going to lodge into it, right? It's going to get stuck in it. And then it's going to cause this thing to move. So something it's going to move like this. We don't know exactly. It's going to move in an arc like this. So it's going to move into an arc. And then it's going to move some angle and it's going to go some distance and then some distance up. So essentially what we're trying to do is find these two distance, the X and Y component. So that's what we're trying to solve for. So uh, the way we want to do this is first, we want to find the velocity or the final velocity. And so the way we're going to want to do this is for things that are perfectly inelastic like this one, right? So these are going to be inelastic. If something's perfectly inelastic like this, uh, there's a formula you need to know, right? So if something gets lodged into another, you know it's perfectly inelastic because they're going to combine into one. And this is the formula you need to know. M1V1, right, which is just your first object. In this case, it's going to be our bullet. Plus M2V2 is equal to V final because V final is just going to be the velocity of our thing when it's combined because they're the same thing now, essentially, because they're combined. Uh, v1 fi or V final time, uh, V1 or V final times m1 plus m2 sorry about that and so essentially this is gonna be the formula we're gonna use so we're gonna take m1 v1 right this is our bullet m2 v2 which is our pendulum in the beginning and then it's gonna combine and we're gonna try to find the final velocity of this because if we can find the final velocity it's gonna allow us to solve for the height and you'll see how we are able to do that in a second but essentially let's go ahead and plug our numbers in so the mass is gonna be 0 0.028 right because 28 grams is equal to 0 0.028 kilograms because we need it in kg and then the velocity is 210 meters per second plus m2 which is going to be our pendulum they don't tell us oh yeah so they tell us it's 3.6 right it's 3.6 uh kilograms but keep in mind uh the velocity of it it's at rest so uh, the pendulum is going to be at rest so this is really zero so 3.6 times zero is just zero so 0 0.028 times 210 this is zero equals v final times m1, which is the mass of our bullet, 0 0.028, plus m2, which is going to be the mass of our pendulum, 3.6 kilograms. So plus 3.6. Uh, if you go ahead and do this, so just divide by 0 0.028 plus 3.6, divide by that, 0 0.028 plus 3.6. So you do 0 0.028 times 210, and then divide by 0 0.028 plus 3.6 you'll get the final velocity. And so the final velocity in this case is going to be uh, 1.6207. Uh, I'm just going to write this as V2 because in the next problem, I'm going to write something as final velocity, but keep in mind, these are not the same. So this is going to be 1.6207 meters per second. So now we know the velocity of this object. And so keep in mind what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the maximum it goes to its swing. So what we're going to do here is use uh, energy, like the laws of energy, and so to do this, you need the kinetic energy formula and potential energy. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared. Potential energy is mgh. So these two formulas you need. And so what we're going to do is use uh, energy conversion, right? So we're going to say the kinetic energy plus the potential energy in the beginning is equal to the kinetic energy and potential energy at the end. So essentially one half mv, we can call it i, right? So one half mv i squared plus mgi is equal to one half mv final squared plus mgh final, right? And so keep in mind what this is. So right here we have, it's gonna be some velocity and it's gonna move up, right? And h final is gonna be the height it moves up. That's gonna be the height it finishes wherever it is, right? It's gonna be when the velocity is zero at this point because that's gonna be the highest it can go. So if we go ahead and do this, one half, or well, first what you should realize is mass in every term, those cancel. So by all these are gone. So we just have one half times vi. So what is vi? It's going to be the uh, velocity of our um, our bullet and uh, pendulum, right? Just the pendulum basically now because it just has a bullet in it. And so this is going to be uh, 1.6207, right? So this is going to be 
vi, the initial velocity, plus uh, g times hi. But we're going to treat this as zero because hf is going to be the distance it moves up. So that's what we're trying to find. So we want to treat this as zero. And so we know hi, the initial height, is zero. So g times zero is just zero. So equals one half times v final. So what is v final going to be? So keep in mind, the highest point it's going to reach is when its velocity becomes zero. So essentially, v final is going to be zero. Uh, so yeah, this is zero plus g. So g, which is 9.8 times h, uh, h final. So if you go ahead and do this, 1 half times 1.6207 squared, and then divide by 9.8, you're going to get that hf, or the, the, the change in like the vertical component, right? So the vertical component, one of our thing we're trying to find, is going to be 0.134 meters, right? So this is in meters, because uh, this is in meters per second. So h final is going to be 0.134 meters. So this is going to be the distance it moves up, essentially. So this is your answer to one of the parts. But now we have this. And we need to find the horizontal component. So this is going to be a bit trickier. You're going to use some trick. Uh, but I want you to think about how this works. So I'm just going to draw over this image right here. So imagine this is our image. Uh, so this is going to be the triangle. So we know h final or the distance. So actually, we're going to label it like this. Sorry, let me draw it like this. And then this is going to go all the way down. So we're trying to find this distance right here, the distance it changes this way. The horizontal component we know the vertical component now it's one point or point one three four and so we know this length right here is 2.8 meters so this length right here is 2.8 meters uh we don't know this angle we're going to find that though and then this length right here this side what is it going to be well it's going to be the length of the string plus or minus this distance we move up right because it's 2.8 and then we move up a little bit so we're going to subtract it so this is really 2.8 minus 0.134 so that's going to be that length right here so keep in mind, we're trying to find this side, but we can't find that side unless we have the angle because we need the angle in order to solve for a side we don't have. But what we can do is solve for the angle with these two uh, numbers we have right here. So we're going to do that. So how do we do that? So we know the cosine of an angle, in this case, theta, I'm calling it theta. So cosine of theta is equal to what? It's going to be equal to the adjacent over uh, the hypotenuse. So keep in mind, what is adjacent? What's hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is always going to be the longest side of your triangle. So this side right here, 2.8 meters. And then the adjacent is going to be this side right here, right? So it's going to be uh, 2.8 minus 0.134. You want to divide that by uh, the hypotenuse, 2.8, right? And then we want to find the angle. So you take the arc cosine, or yeah, arc cosine of 2.8 minus 0.134, divide that by 2.8. Right, so if you go ahead and do this, arc cosine, plug it in your calculator. Yeah, arc cosine of 2.8 minus 0.134 divided by 2.8. You're going to get 17.797. I'm going to round it to 0.8, so 17.8 degrees. So we know this angle theta right here is 17.8 degrees. So now we know that, but we need to find this side still, right? The, the Right, so this is the vertical component. And we need to find the horizontal component because this is what we moved up. So we need to find this side right here. And so the way we do that is just by saying using sine now, right? Because we know the sine of an angle, theta in this case, which is 17.8 degrees, is equal to sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So what is the opposite side, the side we're trying to find? I'm going to call that x over the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is 2.8, we already agreed on. So if we multiply both sides by 2.8, you're going to get be able to solve for x. So you just do 2.8 times the sine of 17.8. And if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get x equals 8 or 0.8559. I'm going to round to 0.856. This is in meters. So this right here is going to be your horizontal component, right? So 0.856 meters, we move this distance, uh, that distance this way. And then upwards, we move 0.134 meters, right? So the vertical and horizontal components, these are going to be your two 0.134. 0.856 meters. Yeah, I might, uh, but yeah, so these essentially are going to be uh, your answers. So yeah, vertical, horizontal. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you found this useful.